2020 is the year of the woman. I know that's hard to know or understand given there's been so much that has kind of undermined one of the most historic, life-changing truths that occurred a hundred years ago when the United States granted half of its citizenry not just the right to vote, but an acknowledgement that we women, half of the US and world population, that we have merit as thinkers, as people who can contribute to society. And we got the right to vote. Now, it would take a lot of years for all that understanding to, to filter into society in so far as a lot of laws were in the books that didn't allow women full equal access to society. But we are at a point in time, I am the beneficiary, being born in 1969, most of the laws largely were passed in the 70s that allowed me, as I became a working person, as I became an educated person, as I became a woman, an independent woman, most of those laws I didn't even realize that my mother and grandmother and women around me had been fighting for for years. But I'm the beneficiary of them and I know the history. What did not serve me well was my lack of understanding about God's divine design. Now, I understood what we were trying to do as humans and what we had done, and I am so thankful for the women before me. But I was not given an understanding of what God originally intended when he designed them, male, female, he designed them in his image. I couldn't understand what Skip Moen was saying in his book, Guardian Angel, until I readied my mind with a book like Walking in the Dust of Rabbi Jesus. When I read these two books in 2015, my mind opened up to a new reality, and it was a reality that I wanted and needed because I wanted a successful relationship with my husband. I wanted a successful relationship with my father and my brothers. I wanted to be excellent for my female kind. I love my women, but I needed to understand what did God really say? What did he really say when he created them, male, female? He created them in his image. What does that mean? And then what happened afterwards, right? All, all those realities of what we deal with in society. So here we are in one heck of a crazy year. And if you yourself are beginning to wonder, what does God have for me? Who am I really? I encourage you to start in walking in the dust of Rabbi Jesus and then transition with us to Guardian Angel because I'm leading a book study. And this is going to be a full year of study so we can slowly, methodically walk through what did God really mean when he said he made them, male, female, in his image. Join us. Shalom.